gonna stay a little longer and see if anything else will come. Yep. Got something here. Recently, I've been doing a run of uh, ice fishing videos. Uh, on one of the trips, uh, I was going to go to Musselman's Lake, but uh, I couldn't get access and I ended up going to another lake, a little lake off by the side of a road, and I caught my personal best uh, jumbo perch, uh, which was a surprising catch and was great fun. I'm going to link that video down below. And time after that, I went to a remote lake uh, that I've never been to. And uh, the, the bite was slow, but I ended up catching a few pike, and one which I took home to eat and did a catch and cook. I'm gonna link that video down below too. And I also went out a third time, but I couldn't make a video out of it because I, uh, I went to Lake Simcoe and got totally skunked for whitefish. And um, today it's uh, Febru February and it's the middle of winter, but it's warm relative to uh, recent days we've had. It's a balmy minus three degrees Celsius. And uh, I am going to go to uh, Lake Scugog, uh, Lake Scugog in search of panfish. And, uh, I'll be ice fishing, of course. I've never been here before. Um, but I want to give Lake Scugog a try, so uh, stay tuned. Now, got a little bit of a detour. Spot number one, the place I was gonna go to had no access. The gates were closed where I wanted to go. So I found an alternative entry. Let's see if we can get on some fish. The lake here is pretty shallow, like seven feet deep, right around here, I think. Some weed beds by here. A good place to start would be uh, hopefully around seven feet of water. I figure the vegetation was here, some of it has died off. Fish are being pushed a little bit deeper. That's just a guess. We'll put the guess to the test and go from there. And that's a weedy bay. A little deeper area here. I figured some of the fish might have moved off of there and gone to deep area. Someone was fishing here about a day ago. So this is where I'm gonna get started. It's only not even two feet of water here. Give it a little shot and then we can always move. Okay, well, first fish of the day, little perch. On, I, the reading is way off. I don't know what it is. Like it says one feet sometimes, it says six feet another time. fish of the day from Scugog, yellow perch. Let's let it go. Okay, I got something on the Simcoe bug, little yellow perch. I'm 
My first ever catch with a Simcoe bug is a yellow perch. So far just lots of little perch today. Let's send it back. Bit of a better one. Yellow perch on the Simcoe bug. Uh, should we keep this one? Beautiful fish. Let's let it go. Bye bye. Just missed a big bite. Comes over earlier. Just dropped it right back down. See the fish is still around. Sean. Oh, that's a good one. That's a jumbo. Oh, that's a jumbo. That's a jumbo perch, guys. For Scugog, that's pretty big. Fish on. Can you eat that one? Oh, lost one at the hole. Lost one at the hole. Guys, a handline giant 
yellow perch. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? My line busted. And I didn't want to waste dunking that bait in there. And so when I pulled it up, I get a monster yellow perch. Holy smokes. You cannot script it any better than that. Oh, this is a good one. Another keeper. Look at that beauty. From S this is not Lake Simcoe, guys. This is Lake Scugog. Two really nice ones right now. Oh, that's a beauty. This may be close to my PB. I gotta measure that. I didn't know there were uh, perch this big in here. So it's not a PB, but it's still a good foot long. All right, that's that's a that's a good one. A couple of keepers, maybe one or two more, and uh, that's a that's a good meal. That's a that's a good that's a good meal. small A small one. All perched so far. Mostly small, but I do have a couple of eaters right there. So, uh, just gonna stay a little longer and see if anything else will come. Yep, caught something here. Whoa, yeah, that's a good one. On the low hook, did not expect that. On the low hook, everybody, on the low hook. Another jumbo. This is a pretty good location, I guess, from Scugog. I didn't expect this. Usually, when I come to Scugog, I get skunked. Today, a nice 
jumbo perch to go along with those ones. This one is right about the same size. Right about the same size as my other, as the other perch I caught. That one at least. Three, I think I can uh, steam them up and make a meal out of it. That's good. That's good. That's a good day. I don't have too much uh, time to fish, so I'm going to pretty much uh, call it. Came here to ice fish today. First time ice fishing for me on Lake Scugog. Normally I don't catch much on Lake Scugog even at the best of times. The perch here average, I don't know, like six, seven, eight inches or, you know, they're not big. Um, but today, uh, even though I came at like 10.30 in the morning, I was able to get on some really nice uh, perch. There you go, a couple of jumbos and a, a medium sized perch over there and uh, I think I'm gonna call it a day it's getting a bit cold and uh, I only had a couple hours to fish but um, results for today aren't too bad considering just a couple of hours of fishing Okay, we're gonna clean the yellow perch now. We're gonna gut it, descale it, cut off the fins, and we're gonna steam it. Well, just gut it, just gut it the fish, and it's still moving. That is crazy, guys. Still moving with no guts. These fish are so hardy. Some jumbo perch over like a foot long and this is a little under the foot long so now I'm gonna take the scales off and then uh, we're gonna steam it for dinner <laughs> Okay, so we put some salt, pepper, and ginger. It's about ready to go in. Okay, so the fish is going to the uh, steamer. And then uh, we enjoy the fish. The fish eggs, we, uh, we made omelette out of it. My son saw how much trouble I had doing the uh, scales on the fish, so he made a little descaler for me. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. And uh, ready to serve. Yellow perch. Fresh yellow perch. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the descaler. And some perch eggs over there. Ready for eating. This is the yellow perch that we just caught today. It's really good, really, really good. My son reminded me, um, if you like what you saw, if you like my videos, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.